So we have some multiple choice questions on this topic of spanning basis and linear combination. So let's go through them. Question number one is, which of the following sets of vectors spans R2? Explain. So we got four sets of vectors. You can copy them and then write down your answer. So when you're looking for a choice, what will you look for? It says, which of the following sets of vectors spans in R2? That means you're looking for a set of vectors which are not scalar multiple, correct? Question number two. Which of the following sets of vectors spans R3? Explain. So we have a set of vectors here also, right? So what we need to look for is that they should not be, they're non-zero and they should not be scalar multiple, right? So that is what we're looking for. So which of the following sets of vectors spans R3? Explain. So you have to figure it out, correct? Now let's go back and find the answer. So search for the vectors which are not scalar multiple. These can be multiplied by minus 2, this by half, right? And this is not a scalar multiple, so that becomes our choice. Now in this case, we'll adopt the same strategy. So when you multiply by 2, you get this one. Here you multiply by 6 and you get the other one. And in this case, it is times 2. And in this case, this is not. So that is your choice. So scalar multiple is the key thing to look for. Okay, thank you.